Hello, I'm Darren Schoonberg from Ace of Carts in Saskatoon, Canada. Today, I'm going to answer your question about the most commonly asked question that I get here at Ace of Carts, and that's how we store our batteries and how we properly prepare our batteries for winter storage. So please join me, and we're going to take a closer look at the Club Car IQ system with the PD1, 2, and 3 chargers and the Club Car uh, Eric charging system. Stay with me, here we go. In this first image, we're gonna show you a PD-1 charger. In the second image, we're gonna show you a PD-2 charger. And in this third image, we're gonna show you a PD-3 charger. What's important in all of these systems is how they're connected and integrated into your car. A PD-1, 2, and 3 charger will have a main red wire with a secondary charge wire. This is important when we're disconnecting our batteries for winter storage. Our Eric charging system, which the charger is shown here on your screen, has a different format in the battery compartment. So have a look at this and know the difference in which car you're talking about. It's also important to know that the Eric charging system is used in the 2014 precedent club car and current. Now if you're wondering what the blue wire is that's connected to your PD system, IQ system, or your ERIC system, please note this is for your accessories. It is important that prior to winter storage that you unplug this blue wire as it will disconnect the inverter to your car, shown in this illustration. In this video, we will refer to this post as the main positive. Here is a picture of the main negative cable on a PD-1, PD-2, PD-3 system or an IQ system. Please note that the main negative goes through the onboard computer on this vehicle. This is our main negative on our new ERIC vehicles. Please note there is no onboard computer, but that, that cable will just disappear to the back of the car. It actually goes to the controller. This next image is your tow run switch. It's important that you locate your tow run switch if you don't already know where it is. The tow run switch should be in the run position for day-to-day -day operations, charging the vehicle, and general usage. We flip the tow run switch into tow anytime the vehicle is going to be in long-term storage or we're going to do any work on the batteries or the electrical system of the vehicle. So we're going to move this switch into tow as we begin to winterize our vehicles. Now that we know the differences in the IQ system and the ERIC system, it's time to start to talk about winterizing our car. The winterization process actually starts two weeks prior to wanting to put the car to bed. What we need to do and what you should have been doing for good general practice is watering your batteries. So two weeks prior to us putting the car away, we want to make sure that the water levels are correct. So if you have the single point watering system with your vehicle, we're going to hook that to our hand pump or our deionizer and we are going to fill the batteries to the manufactured level. That should be about an eighth to a quarter of an inch below the bottoms of the fill wells. Likewise, for those people that have batteries without the single point watering system, you're going to want to go about a quarter to an eighth of an inch below the bottom of the fill well in this diagram here. So now after two weeks, we want to do what's called a double charge and disconnect. The double charge and disconnect is simply charging the vehicle fully and then unplugging the DC end and plugging it back in again until the charger show full. So on the Eric charger, that's going to be the blue light and the two green lights on solid is going to indicate a full charge. On the IQ system or the PD1, 2 or 3, that is going to be the amp meter sitting at zero amps. Okay, we're back. After two weeks, we've now watered the car, we've double charged it, and now we're going to do the disconnect and we're going to do it in real time to show you how fast this process is. We have our safety glasses, our wrench that I've wrapped some electrical tape around so we can't short out the two posts. So here we go. First, we're going to unplug the charger from the car, set it off to the side, and as I had showed you at the beginning of the video, we're going to move the tow run switch from the run position to the tow position. We'll take our first battery and we will disconnect. The nut, set it off the side. We're going to pull the charging wire off 
and then the main red wire. Then we're going to walk around to the other side of the vehicle and we are going to disconnect the main negative post. And we are done for the winter. Next, we'll do the Eric charging system. Okay, we're back with the Eric car. So this here is a 2017 lifted electric onward. So again, the process will be very similar. First, we're going to unplug the charger, set it off to the side. We have the tow run switch again, located right here. We're going to flip that into tow. This particular car has that blue wire for the accessories. We're going to unplug that blue wire and that will unplug all the accessories in the car. And then we'll take our same wrench and we're going to disconnect the main positive. And on this one, you'll notice there's only one red wire. So be aware of that, as we had discussed earlier in the video with the Eric vehicles. Disconnect and set off to the side. I'm going to do this just right across the vehicle. <clears throat> I'm going to do the main negative. Again, located on the opposite side, that main negative cable goes into the back of the car. Uh, it does not have an onboard computer. Again, one of the differences with the Eric vehicles. And now that's off. So that's the completion on a double charge and disconnect and the proper way to store your vehicle for the winter. After 12 years of doing this, we found this is the most safe and effective way to store your vehicle over the winter time in Saskatchewan. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Be sure if you have any questions to leave it in the comment section and like and share our video. Thank you very much.